yeah, the new iPad is cool. In fact, it's super cool. But can cool replace a laptop? Yeah. At least it can, depending on what it is you would need to do with your laptop. Like, for example, if you need to protect your laptop or tablet and make it look awesome, well then our sponsor dbrand works just as well for the iPad Pro as it does for a laptop, making it look sweet and protecting it from incidental scuffs and scratches. Check out dbrand at the link in the video description. So tablets are going through kind of a crisis of identity right now. Like if they were people, they'd be in their sort of early 20s, who am I phase. You see, when the first iPad came out, it was understood to be a new class of device that exists in addition to the ones that you already have, not as a replacement for them. Then the novelty wore off and people started asking themselves, wait, what was the point of these again? <laughs> That's when we started seeing an attempt from manufacturers to marry the qualities of a tablet and a laptop. Microsoft was among the first to popularize this fusion with their Surface line, tablets that ran Windows and could be paired with a super thin keyboard, a mouse, and a pen. Then came the two-in-ones, which were full laptops whose touchscreen displays could be swiveled or outright removed and then used in tablet mode and then finally, Apple formally joined the fray in 2015 with the first iPad to be marketed as a laptop substitute, the original iPad Pro. It was actually kind of bizarre, like they even had Microsoft join them on stage during the announcement to talk about how you could be super productive using Office on the new iPad. So was this it? Had Apple blessed the world's best tablet with an actual function? That is beyond distracting our cats so they won't bother us while we get work done on a real computer? Well, Apple clearly feels that they did because it looks like the iPad Pro is here to stay. It got a minor hardware revision last year and a complete overhaul now for 2018. So we've got the 11 inch model here, but there's also the 12.9 inch model, both of which boast increased screen to body ratios thanks to their edge to edge screens though it isn't entirely clear which edge Apple is talking about because I still see a bezel. And it's even got a more utilitarian physical design with square edges, like a MacBook Pro. They've thrown in their faster 8-core A12X Bionic processor, which is supposedly 92% faster than all the portable PCs and has Xbox One S class graphics performance. Whatever those mean. There's Face ID, faster and more secure than Touch ID, and USB Type-C, which actually makes this the most computer-like tablet ever from Apple, thanks to its ability to connect to external displays and a vast number of accessories. Finally, they launched a new Apple Pencil, which now snaps magnetically to the side of the iPad Pro to pair and charge. Personally, I actually kind of liked the old way, but I get, no, I'm just kidding, that was horrible. <laughs> I can't believe this took three years. Go Apple. But none of what I just said addresses the biggest difference between a MacBook and an iPad with a keyboard, iOS. And it's here that Apple has done a fairly admirable job of tweaking iOS to be more like a desktop operating system. Using apps in split screen is still nice, and the A12X chip actually makes everything super fast. Like it's impressive how smoothly and quickly everything occurs on the iPad Pro. And it's made even more snappy by the Pro Motion display with its adaptive 120 Hertz refresh rate. But the fact is, iOS is still missing some critical features that it needs to be a standalone computer for pro professionals. Here are some of those features in no particular order. One, a true file manager. The iOS Files app only shows your iCloud drive. What? Two, support for external storage. We finally have an iOS device with USB Type-C, but it won't recognize a thumb drive. You know what, Apple? Three, better external display support. You can connect displays via USB-C directly or through an adapter, but it always just duplicates your iPad screen unless your specific app supports a second screen experience. Four, there's still no keyboard and mouse support. So if you're using it in laptop mode with the keyboard, you have to reach up and touch the screen anytime you want to navigate like you're a chimp. 
five. The pencil is sort of useful as a mouse analog, except that you still have to switch between your fingers and the pencil to perform certain actions, like navigating between apps and going to the home screen. I guess that's why this guy got so good at twirling it. Six. The keyboard folio only lets the iPad sit at two angles, which honestly is just unacceptable in a world that also contains the Surface Pro's friction hinge. Seven, there's no headphone jack. I'm sorry, but I'm still salty. Look how big it is. How about it maybe even just on the 12.9 inch, right? They got the same hardware. So how can a pro accept these kinds of compromises? Well, the answer is that there are many different types of pros. Professional artists, professional writers, professional video editors, accountants, scientists, business owners, brand managers. Each of these professions warrants a different answer to the question of whether the iPad Pro can replace a laptop. I think probably the best angle you could take on that front would be artists. The pencil and the iPad Pro together are extremely impressive. The precision, responsiveness, and overall feel is quite possibly the best available on anything other than a high-end Wacom tablet. So artists then, yeah, they can probably replace their computer with this, right? Well, maybe. Illustrators and graphic designers at The Verge got to try an early version of Photoshop for the iPad Pro. And one of the photo editors shared that while it was cool, she missed her keyboard shortcuts. And I think that kind of says it in a nutshell, doesn't it? It can, but professionals who professionally, you know, hit their deadlines and stuff will probably share similar concerns. Don't get me wrong. The iPad Pro has all the things that people use a computer for, a web browser, apps, games, even an available keyboard. The whole iPad Pro can be your next computer thing is true. It's just only true for a small percentage of the people who we would traditionally describe as pros. For everyone else, the iPad Pro is still a secondary device, something you have in addition to your real computer. In other words, it's a tablet. But okay, before we, you know, bang the gavel and pronounce judgment on this thing, let's pretend for a moment that we are an artiste contemplating replacing our computer with the iPad Pro. That's where pricing comes into it. This device starts at $799 for the 64 gig 11 inch model. Add the keyboard and pencil, that's $1,100. But then if you're using this as your primary machine, you're probably gonna want the 12.9 inch one. And let's give you 256 gigs of storage as well. That one's 1150. So then the keyboard and pencil brings us to 1450. You know what else you can get for around that price? The brand spanking new Surface Pro 6. Oh yeah, totally forgot. Microsoft has a tablet running full Windows 10 with a Core i5, also 256 gigs of storage, excellent keyboard, trackpad, mouse support, and a pen, which isn't quite as good as the Apple Pencil, but it's pretty freaking good, and it's actually less than $1,450. Now, I'm not gonna come out and say that anyone who's considering the iPad Pro should just get a Surface Pro instead. But if you are considering an iPad Pro as your main computer, you might wanna consider a Surface Pro. Or at the very least, you better be pretty dang sure that you need that special Apple Pencil experience so that you can create an artfully illustrated itinerary of your vacation to Maine. Because to me, that is this device's primary selling point. I mean, perhaps we shouldn't be surprised that Apple is selling a device more on the premise of what it could be used for and their vision for the future of computing rather than what you, the end user, are actually going to use this doodad to achieve. That's kind of been their jam for a while. But maybe that's okay. Like if you don't go in expecting the iPad Pro or tablets like it to replace your laptop, you are probably gonna be pretty darn happy with this thing. And I think that it's enough to say that this is an incredible tablet that is more powerful and capable than most other tablets in its class, because it really makes the most sense to me out of any other tablet as a companion device. Like the Surface line, it's more like two-in-ones, laptops that can be used as tablets. As for this, well, this is a tablet that can be used as a laptop. Maybe I'm wrong, 
Perhaps powerful tablets that can do it all are the future of computing. But the main issue today is that Apple is not going to lead us there with iOS. In my opinion, what they need to do is make macOS more touch friendly or make iOS much more robust. Because as it stands, the iPad Pro can replace your computer, but it shouldn't. Speaking of things that shouldn't, we shouldn't do segues like this. They're awful. We all have our everyday grooming routines, showering, brushing your teeth, and yes, shaving. And no matter what your routine is, Dollar Shave Club has your back and your butt and your face and anywhere else you have hair with their high quality razors and their toothpaste body wash and all that great stuff that makes you look, feel, and smell your best. Your starter set from Dollar Shave Club will include an executive razor handle and trial size versions of their shave butter, body wash, and one wipe Charlie's butt wipes. After your first box, replacement cartridges are sent for just a few bucks a month, and this $5 offer is available at dollarshaveclub.com slash Linus. That's dollarshaveclub.com slash Linus. So thanks for watching, guys. If you disliked this video, you can hit that button. But if you didn't dislike it, then you can hit that button. You can get subscribed, and you can consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the link in the video description. Also down there is our merch store, which has cool shirts like the one I'm wearing, and our community forum, which you should totally join. Can you do the whole thing again? <laughs> Can you do the whole thing again?